Easter is this Sunday, and I have to say the only thing I look forward to more than Easter brunch is the day after Easter because it's Easter leftovers. And what a treat for me, Coleman Natural and Rayleigh's have teamed up to bring us a delicious, simple, soul-satisfying recipe for leftovers. Joining me is Sarah Findle from Coleman Natural. Hi, Sarah. Hello. So you're showing us a soup recipe, and when I think about, you know, really using leftovers, Soup is kind of the gold standard of that, huh? Exactly. So today we're going to be making a ribolita soup, which ribolita actually stands for reboiled. So it really is meant to be a leftover soup. It's throw everything, you know, you've got leftover in your fridge from Easter, veggies, kale, some stale bread, and of course your ham. Um, and it makes a really lovely soup uh, for the day or, or the week after. Beautiful. Well, let's get cooking. We've already started, haven't we? Yes, we got started. So you'll want to take your traditional carrot, celery, and onion and some olive oil. Start sauteing those in your stock pot here until the onions get a little bit brown um, or start turning translucent. And then you'll want to add my favorite ingredient, the garlic. So we'll dump that in there in here right now. Now it's really going to start smelling wonderful. So you'll just kind of stir that until uh, it does get fragrant, about a minute. And then the easiest part of the recipe is just to add all the other ingredients. Like I said, this is very customizable. Use what you have on hand. But for our recipe today, we've got some cannellini beans, some kale, of course our leftover ham just chopped up into cubes, uh, some roasted tomatoes, just a can of roasted tomatoes, some herbs, chicken stock, and of course, the best ingredient are crusty um, bread croutons that we'll add at the end. So once your garlic gets uh, pretty fragrant, you can just go ahead and start adding everything else to the pot. So we'll go ahead and just add it in. My favorite kind of recipe, you just dump everything in and it's pretty much done. Throw our herbs in, you'll remove those at the end. Um, they're just in there to kind of simmer You'll stir everything together in here and bring it to a simmer and let it simmer there for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, taste it, season as needed. And we magically have a pot already done here so I can kind of show you the finished product. Perfect. I love how that happens. Now I know chicken is usually kind of your star of soups, but I think pork just kind of takes it to the next level, doesn't it? And it's easy because it's already cooked. So you really just take it out of the fridge, cut it into cubes, and um, you're good. So get a nice bowl here full of all the veggies and flavors. Then we add my favorite part, the crusty bread croutons. You can either throw these on the grill, you can toast them up in your oven, olive oil, get them nice and toasty. Add it as a garnish to your soup. Add some Parmesan cheese to the top. And I like to, I like to have some extra bread on the side with mine, but it really just looks hearty and beautiful. And without the bread, you know, it can be frozen and, and saved for later as well. Sarah, it looks delicious. We have this recipe on the Rayleigh's website for you, along with two other recipes using your leftover Coleman natural ham and all the ingredients you can purchase at your local Rayleigh supermarket. So Sarah, thank you so much for showing us this recipe. Happy Easter to you. Same to you, enjoy. Bye.